Namaskaram friends. So in this video, I am going to talk about pollutant matter. What this is, and pollu this pollutant matter causes a very severe problem of human health, environment health, animal health, as well as creating a atmosphere where taking breath or you can say inhaling and exhaling is like a dangerous process because pollutant are a very small in size. And it, when you inhale air, it goes into your lungs and it causes a various types of disease. So we are going to talk about what are the causes of pollut pollutant matter, how we solve the problem of pollutant matter and clean the air wherever we live. And it is helpful for the environment, for the animal as well as for the human being. So very briefly, I'm going to talk about pollutant matters, its causes, from where it is emerged, what type of it is, and what are the impact of uh, pollutant matter on the environment, on the animal, as well as on the human being. So very briefly, I'm going to talk about pollutant matters. Okay. So pollutant matters. When air is heated in the automobile engine, in the automobile engine, let's say, engine, let's say in car, in the engine of a car, when air is heated, nitrogen oxides, NOx, are produced. These include these nit nitrogen oxide like nitrogen dioxide, nitrous oxide, nitric oxide. So nitrogen dioxide NO2 which is toxic, nitrous oxide NO2 which is greenhouse gas, and nitric oxide NO which reacts with oxygen to form the harmful NO2. So when air in the automobile engine is heated, it produces NOx, nitrogen oxides. These are nitrogen dioxide, nitrous oxide, as well as nitric oxide, NO2, N2 and NO. And this NO2 is a toxic and to a greenhouse gas as well as NO will react with oxygen to produce a harmful NO2. Nitric oxide, that means NO on its own also increase the risk of respiratory problem in the long run. So it reacts with the oxygen to form a harmful NO2, but individually on its own it also increases the risk of respiratory problem. In petrol engine. There are two types of engine, diesel engine, petrol engine. In petrol engine, a three-way catalyst, catalyst converter. Three-way catalytic converter. Three-way catalytic converter. What three-way catalytic converter is? Three-way catalyst oxy. Three-way catalyst. I think it is catalyst. That's why I suffer a problem of speaking catalytic catalyst. So three-way catalyst. It oxidizes exhaust gas pollutant, both hydrocarbon as well as carbon monoxide. So this catalyst oxidizes both hydrocarbons and carbon monoxide and, redu and reduces nitrogen oxide into the harmful component like water, nitrogen and carbon dioxide. So this oxidizer, the three-way catalyst converter, oxidizes the hydrocarbon, carbon monoxide and nitrogen dioxide and into harmful component like H2O, this catalyzer, this uh, you can say three-way catalyst oxidizer, oxidize, oxidize hydrocarbon into H2O, carbon monoxide into CO2 and nitrogen oxide into N2. So these are N2, CO2 and H2 are harmless. CO2 is some harmful but not like greenhouse gas. So in petrol engine, a three-way catalytic or catalyst converter reduces these emissions, ensuring that NOx emissions are about 30% lower than they would be in the diesel engine on an engine. So in petrol engine, whatever amount of NOx it produces is 30% less than the diesel engine. While modern diesel cars are fitted with particulate filters that take care of NOx emission, reducing them by 90% according to some estimate. So in modern diesel engine, a particulate filter are embedded in the engine. So it reduces the emission of NOx up to 90%. And diesel engine also emit fine particulate matter in their tailpipe emission. So it reduces the NOx emission, but we have to remember that diesel engines also emit the fine particulate PM matter in their tailpipe emission, and which is, it is harmful for respiratory system. This is essentially soot. This uh, what is uh, this particulate matter is essentially soot, the finest particle of which can be embedded deep in the lung and they can cause heart and respiratory problem in a long run. Okay, so in the tailpipe, um, in the tailpipe emission, 
in the tailpipe emission of diesel engines, PM is you can say emitted, and this causes the problem of respiratory problem as well as lung uh, heart problem as well as respiratory problem because these are a suit fine particulate matter which embedded deep into the lung. So heart problem and respiratory problem. PM has also been linked with cancer. So this particulate matter which is emitted from the tailpipe of diesel engine is also a cause of a cancer. So remember, new petrol petrol reduces 30% less than whatever uh, NOx is emitted from the petrol engine is 30% lesser than the diesel engine. But modern diesels are you can say fitted with particulate filter which reduces the NOx up to 90%. But we have to remember that through the tailpipe of diesel, uh, diesel engine, uh, through the tailpipe of diesel engine car, a small suit PM is released, which is very fine particle which embedded in the lungs of the human being and causes respiratory as well as heart problem. And PM is also cause of cancer. And three-way catalyst converter in the uh, petrol engine converted hydrocarbons into STU carbon monoxide into carbon dioxide and nitrogen oxides into N2. So N2, CO2 and H2 are harmful gases. So it reduces the emission of NOx. Modern diesel engine also reduces it, but the problem is it also emit particulate matter, which is very fine, very small in size and very fine particle, which causes the health, heart and respiratory problem. So I hope you understand the full idea of particulate matter. In this picture, you can clearly see the how particulate matter is formed through industry, through you can say in in atmosphere when cropping is going on, traffic industry, coal road, okay, through the soil also, and you can clearly see there is a difference between here and here. Here is a less particulate matter, here more particulate matter. So when our environment is clean. Less, less particulate matter and when our environment is polluted, more particulate matter. And it is basically due to vehicular pollution, industrial pollution, stubble environment. These are the important causes of particulate matter. Now we are going to solve one question on it. Consider the following statement. When air is heated in an automobile engine, nitrogen oxides are produced. Yes. Nitric oxide, NO is a greenhouse gas which reacts with oxygen to form Nitrogen dioxide. Yes. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Nitric oxide, no, nitrous oxide. And two O is a greenhouse gas which react and it is a and two is a greenhouse gas. Nitric oxide is not a greenhouse gas, but it reacts with oxygen to form a nitrogen dioxide. So this part is wrong. Diesel engine emit fine particulate matter. Yes, it is a cause of cancer also. So option one and three is correct. That means option. Statement 1 and 3 is correct, that means option B is correct. Just check we are on the right path or not. Option B is correct, that means we are on the right path. Remember. Nitrogen dioxide, nitrous oxide, and nitric oxide. So nitrous oxide is a greenhouse gas. Nitric oxide reacts with oxygen to form a NO2, which is toxic in nature. And nitric oxide, in on its own, is a cause of respiratory problem in the long run. So remember, so statement two is wrong. One and three is correct. That means option B is correct. So I hope you love this video, you enjoy this video, and gain some perspective, some knowledge out of it. So namaskaram. Thank you.